right, welcome back, everybody. It is the Tim Conway Jr. Show live at 97.1 Free FM. And Frank Kramer joins us from Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on with you. Yeah, what, it's been weeks? a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, oh, I thought that was a pill. It's a little bit of a piece of paper. But uh, why did you pop it in your mouth? Then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was with Malibu Dan in Boston, and it was uh, when he, he was nervous about flying with weed with him mm-hmm. uh, on his person. So. He didn't buy any weed before he went to Boston, and he, you know, he's one of those guys. He's so confident that he could hook up in any city that he's in. He could. He probably could, but he, but he tried, and he he got shut down. I mean, he couldn't buy weed from anybody. I mean, he really went for it. So we were, I was with uh, Steckler, and I and I and Steckler goes, "Hey, there's a pill on the street, <laughs> right?" And it looked like a prescription pill. The guy takes it and puts it in his mouth and swallows it. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what it right. was, whose mouth it was in, how much dog crap was on it. The guy takes it and, st- and uh, uh, Malibu Dan sticks it in his own mouth. I think I did that once, too. <laughs> Is that right? It was in the old uh, studios in, K- in Koreatown. Right. Inside the studio, there was a pill on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was right when we first started at right. KLSX, and I picked it up, and I threw it in my mouth and swallowed it in front of Heidi. She's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> but there's something about that breath of sure stuff that just freaks me out. I'll never, it's, okay, it's not a mint. It's oh, a, yeah, right. But it, it, I, I don't understand it, so I'll never take that. But I'll take a pill off the floor at a, at a radio station any day. <laughs> now, I uh, was listening to you guys, uh, uh, was it today and, or yesterday, when you were talking about the van? Oh, my God. And, um, but I never, I never put two and two together. I never looked at it. I just assumed <clears throat> that it was like, a, you know, uh, an, un, you know, like an unorthodox <laughs> or an uncomfortable picture of, of Frosty <clears throat> on the van. And then I said, all right, let me look at it, because Randy was laughing his ass off. And I saw the picture. Uh, of the van with Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, and Frosty's nose is where the handle is. And if you go to Frosty, <laughs> Heidi, and Frank, you can see this picture. It is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. It, now Jerry just saw it for the first. Did you just see it for the first time, dude? It is. No, the I just thing. I just heard you explain it. I'm going to it right now. All right, let's get Jerry's reaction. Go to Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, and and click on uh, skip intro. Uh, unless you got a couple hours to kill. No, okay, while well, he's looking that up, when you saw it, did you think that that was... <laughs> 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 That's at FrostyHeidiAndFrank.com. It's the main picture on the homepage. That was my reaction. But when you saw it, did you think uh, that that was done intentionally to, to mess with Frosty, or that was just a typical mistake from the promotions department? You know what it was? I, I thought that, you know, I, I don't think that they... You know, know how it would affect Frosty. Don't know how to be funny on it. Well, no, no, <laughs> I don't know. But, funny. I don't know how they know, they they probably don't know that how deep it would affect Frosty uh, psychologically. So I don't think they did it on that level. But of all the people to have that happen to at this station, that's the worst guy to have it happen to. Well, I do have a surprise for you. Yes, I uh, brought a special guest with me tonight. Is that right? To be on the show with me and with you, really? And I think he's out uh, in the green room right now, waiting to come in. Who's and that? here he hey! is. It's the man himself. <laughs> Look at this. I, I brought Frosty with me. Oh, I missed you, baby, so much. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you these. I know you have a commercial for one eight hundred. Oh, hours. thank you very much. <laughs> and I hey, look at that! Jesus you Christ! So now, Tim, hey, you can it's ask Frosty the man from himself. Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. What look at that, dude! Mr. Handleface. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is fantastic! Nice to see you, man. Hey, Tim. Hey, I, I, yeah, we never hang you? out anymore. Yeah, what a pleasure this yeah, is. Yeah, I heard what you were talking about. By the way, yeah. you think it's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Since you all have seen it now, can I tell Frank witnessed my reaction? when right. I saw it for the first time. There's some things that are funny and there's some things that are just inexcusable <laughs> and that's inexcusably in- incompetent. Of course, I'm used to it in these hallways. <laughs> right. Now, where did you see it for the first time? Did you actually see it outside in the van? Well, Heidi uh, Heidi came in and she was she was uh, apoplectic. She was um, well, uh, with laughter. She could barely right. breathe. Like, oh, oh, look at this photo. Because <laughs> <laughs> Heidi parked on the roof and the van was up on the roof and so when she got to work, right. she had her, uh, her iPhone on her and so she took a picture of the van and oh, brought it Jesus. in. That's how we got And that I picture. saw it, and I thought, holy Jesus Christ in a chicken basket. <laughs> did, you someone... take, did you make a beeline out there to make sure that nah, it was... we were live on the air, oh. so I couldn't leave. <laughs> the thing is, Tim, you've seen it, right? I mean, it, Oh, it, I've seen it. 
it's it's either done intentionally, and if that's the case, there will be lawsuits that will be filed at the conclusion of this program. Or if it was done accidentally, it's the most sloppy job I've seen in my life. I mean, it's not funny. It's not. You guys are laughing but, at me. But it couldn't have happened to anybody at the station uh, with a with a deeper meaning than than you. A handle in the middle of my face, everything from the bridge of my nose to my chinny chin chin to both cheeks is nothing but a door handle. I told, I said on the air, uh, Tim. I said, well, I'd understand if it was a, a, a an advertisement for Bill Handle. <laughs> right. It's just not funny. Yeah, you have to see this thing. It's at Frosty Heidi and Frank dot com. Unbelievably sloppy and, work. And the Again. photoshoppers have been going crazy because th- they sent me a like an outdoor large billboard where right. this is what it would look like. One of those programs. <laughs> where it's like, if you bought a billboard, this is what it would look like. And they put uh, oh. the same picture up there. It's Frosty, Heidi, and Frank on it, and the K of Frank's over, over Frosty's face. See, all these uh, photoshops are flooding in. I'm never going to outlive this. For the rest of my career, however long or short that is, I'll be the guy known as with a handle in Actually, his face. Heard, I'm handle guy. I heard the promotions department's making t-shirts with the, the oh, handle Oh, that doesn't face. surprise me. <laughs> they think it's funny. You That's love classic. the attention. I can't wait to give away these Fernando Perez, Miles L. Berman t-shirts next week. <laughs> now, did you guys drive in together? Yeah. And we took a car. Shoe, I called yeah. Frosty on the way in. I was like, you know what, Frosty, hey, I'm fantastic. going on the Tim Conway show, and so how about you come on with me? And he's like, no, I got a sore throat. And I'm like, come on, pussy. Yeah, I'm kind of sick. Frank, Are you really? Frank hates it, but I've been sucking on uh, cough drop lozenges all week, so just to piss you off, I brought one in today. It's a mentholiptus. And Tim, you know what's good for colds? Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. You want to join us? You know what? I'm actually driving to Oregon after the oh, show. What? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually at, at 11 o'clock tonight. I'm getting in a car and driving yeah, to this a... this is like your last show before vacation. To Portland, yeah. Portland. And, uh, and I'm leaving for two weeks. Who goes to Oregon for vacation? That's kind of weird, isn't uh, it? I do. I know. Well, my, 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 uh, my, uh, mom... I see you got the base tan for Portland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a novel idea. If it, it actually matches my underwear. This tan. <laughs> Um, but no, my my wife's family's up there, so I sort of use that as an excuse to get up there. Ah. And then I go to Portland Meadows. There's casinos up there. There's a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, and smoking a bar. It's like going back, you know, thirty years. Uh, you know, like what L. A. was thirty years yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we like doing up there. Well, you know, Frank and I are, are we do have a ride, so we're drinking if you don't mind. Good for you. Yeah. How long no. you gone? Uh, two weeks. And who's filling in? Uh, I think Danny Bonaducci and also uh, Sam Phillips. Not in that Wait, order. No, no, no. But... Danny and Sam together? No, no, no. I don't think together. Oh, Jesus. I think uh. Danny's going to fill in by himself, and then a couple of nights, <laughs> Sam Phillips will fill in. And how do you feel about that, Tim? I mean, the ratings were doing so well. They're on the way up. <laughs> I saw the recent ratings. They were Thank up. You they very were up much. for the Thank first you. time in a long time, and now this. Uh, I can't remember what Jack Silver called. Uh, oh, it's Sammy Bonacucci, I believe. <laughs> 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 Same. It is the same person with a, a vagina. Those two are exactly alike. Yeah. They almost have the, the same voice. The more though. I think about it, they should do the show together. Yeah. They shouldn't be separate nights. Sammy and Danny. Yeah. Sammy Bonacucci. All I right, love we, it. We got to take a break here. And, Last uh, chance for a shot, my friend. Yes, go for it. Pass it around, man. brother. Okay, it's right. uh, his second shot. Where's the uh, webcam so I can mug for it? Uh, well, let's put the webcam up on, on Frosty here while he takes a drink. Just remember the camera adds 45 pounds. Oh, uh, and how many cameras, cameras are, are on you? Oh, you're right funny. Now. Oh. <laughs> All right, Frosty and Frank are with us. Uh, the only thing missing now is Heidi. Uh, all right, this is the Tim Conway Jr. Show live at 97.1 Free FM. <laughs> Ninety-seven one SoCal's FM Talk Station. I'm gonna go and concentrate on my hamburger. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. It is the Tim Conway Jr. Show live at 97.1 Free FM. And the two gentlemen sitting in front of me have uh, both just uh, said cheers, salute, and mm. taken a big whiskey shot. Jack Frank Daniels. and Frosty <laughs> from Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. Thanks for having us on the show, Tim. <laughs> and uh, Adam Carolla came on. Now, can you take a shot without uh, without a beer, without anything back? No, I'm, I'm washing this down. Oh, you have with to wash some, it down. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I, I used to be able to, you know, you, you'd take a shot and you know, you could just enjoy it. Now my esophagus is so burned out right. that if I don't have <laughs> a five-gallon you know, jug of sparklets to wash it down, I'm over. Well, and, 
We're about the same age, give or take a decade. Don't insult for, him like but that. The, I put the decade oh, thing in right. there. So I, but the thing is, Tim, you probably, like me, can remember a time when you could drink like 32 of these beers one night and you're fine. Now my right. second one, I need to lay down and take a nap. Yeah. Well, I used to be, you know, used to get buzzed, and your buzz would last for like eight, nine, ten hours. You know, you'd start at noon in college on a, on a Saturday or Friday and go all the way until midnight, one o'clock. Now it's the opposite because now you get buzz and lasts about three hours, but the hangover lasts ten hours. Oh yeah, <laughs> it used to be the buzz lasted ten hours, uh, ten hours, and the hangover was two hours. Yeah. Now, Frosty's drink when in college when he would uh, buy me booze because I was underage. Hey, was uh, apple schnapps? <laughs> apple schnapps, slightly oh, I mean, chilled. Right. Just, just that that syrupy apple schnapps. I should have oh, known. I, I had known pancakes then. once. It was amazing, <laughs> just amazing. <laughs> The thing is now, is now if I have if I go on some sort of wild drinking thing, like we do our drinking show or New Year's Eve rolls around, the next day is gone. Right. You know, it's oh, like yeah. how many of you like you have to cross off January first from the calendar? Like it never exists. Right. You wake up somewhere on the second. Right. Have, now, if you fine tune your buzz, you know what it uh, what it takes now to get your buzz going. Uh, well, it doesn't take as much <laughs> as it used to. I guess my liver shot. Why? Why are you right. laughing? That's as funny well, as the door for, handle for, thing. Yeah, for drinking shows, uh, he he doesn't know how to fine tune his buzz. I don't know if he you goes heard over the, every. What time. does that mean? I'm not sure. The, what does that mean? Well, I mean, you Fine get to a certain buzz. point where you know you're buzzed enough, and then you just sort of you, you know, know when you to nurse cut yourself it off. and ride Why it. would you stop? There you go. I yeah, don't have a no. problem. Really. Why would you s- slow down? You, like you, right. you don't want that hangover that lasts a week, so uh, you know if you have one more beer, that hangover is going to happen. Do, uh, do you know that point? I don't yet? think yeah, like he, that. He no, that I can't stop. <laughs> Look at the size of this gut. Once I start consuming whatever, I cannot stop. <laughs> Can you? Uh, you know what they call? By the way, I, I hope uh, you know this is going to be offensive to all three of us, especially me. But you know they call binge drinking five or more drinks. Oh, and five small drinks. Yeah, five, it's like five small six shots. Six ounces. Yeah, yeah. That's crap. Um, you know, a shot glass. If you fill it up, is two ounces. That would be two drinks. And they call binge drinking five drinks or more. That's all I really do. But th- th- but why would you ha- not do it? I mean, if you're you know who the hell has one beer? Yeah, they sell them in packs of six for a reason. You can't stop it. And who buys a six pack anymore? <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I bought a six pack. I'm I'm you know struggling with those thirty six packs. I'm hurting my back to get my beer home. <laughs> I'm actually buying and, and going out of my way to go get cheaper beer when down the, the shopping street. cart at the liquor store. You might have a problem. Do you remember uh, Frank in the Midwest? And I don't know if they have it here uh, west of the Rockies, but there used to be a company called Stroh's. Beer. Oh yeah. They Stroh's that's my grandfather's beer. Yeah. Do they even sell Stroh's out here? I'm I don't, I don't think Stroh's still exists. Maybe not. But it used, it, to, it used to come in 30 packs. 30 beers. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Stroh's, 30 packs. Stroh's was my, my grandfather's beer, the bottle of Stroh's. Yeah. It was a brown bottle with a small neck on it. Yes. And it was a short, fat bottle. And he used to have one of these after work, and I would bring it to him. And whoever brought him the beer got a, a, a Dixie cup full of beer. So when Ooh. I was like six or seven years old, I got you know two or three ounces of beer, and that's where I knew I really enjoyed that. Because <laughs> even at six, you know, you have three ounces of beer. That's probably like four drinks for me right now. And I like buzzing around at six, seven years old. I enjoyed that. Yeah, man. my great uncle, who uh, was a magician, he drank Stroh's, and he said that they went to the thirty pack when he stopped drinking. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him. You know, I, and, and you know what's great is that... You know, I don't Bud, know if he's still pulling a trick off, because I've never seen him since that day. I love that Budweiser <laughs> and Miller and uh, all these companies, I think even uh, Heineken does it too with the cans, but they make it look like a briefcase. Like this, there's like a business aspect to drinking, you know. You got the handle on it, and you look like you know, like, hey, this guy's not uh, doesn't have a problem. He's a businessman. Right. Where's the reality? With this briefcase there. They should make the backpack for the outdoorsy <laughs> drinker. Right. Exactly. Well, that's like when the cigarette commercials used to show sh- uh, shots of the clean air outside in the Rocky Mountains. Right. And a cigarette pack would be bouncing through the air. Well, okay, if you smoke, this is going to be smoky, and there won't be clean air. It's kind of like I need more beer now. Hello. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried the Heineken, the five? Is it hot or, as balls in here? Yeah, it is hotter than this. I'm always know, sweating. The lights are on because the oh, cameras oh, are on. Oh, because the cameras. Yeah. See, I'm always sweating because I'm fat. I can never tell when it's no, too No, it's, it's hot. Too hot. You're it not is hot in here. It's like you're going to pass out. I don't know. Uh, I all right, check out. Thanks to Stick Cam, S-T-I-C-K-A-M, Stick Cam. Uh, we're on the internet right now. Oh, and, really? Yeah. So Hello, people internet. Can see you. Uh, go to nine Hi, se- Netherlands. <laughs> 971freefm.com. 971freefm.com. Oh, are they still in business? Yeah, and uh, you can see uh, Frosty and Frank from Frosty, Heidi, and Frank. They're with us. And it is the Tim Conway Jr. Show live on 97.1 Free FM. I'm going to go and concentrate on my hamburger.